to reconnect. Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Natique here in Elk Grove, California, and NatiqueYarns.com coming to you live. I do have wet hair. This is, this is the pitfall of curly hair if you don't have two hours to let it dry. Oh, I feel like it's uh, your Wi Fi is connected. Did it turn itself back on again? Trying to connect. Okay, I just turned it back on. Give it a okay. second. Oh, Maybe it'll go. clear up. That looks good. It just okay. needed a minute. <laughs> it's not awake yet this morning. morning. Wake up, phone. Hello. So excited. Today we get to give away the grand prize, which we're really excited about that. Um, you guys know twice a month we give away a grand prize uh, valued at normally more than $75. This is um, this gorgeous two skeins of Ella Ray Silky Kid, which is a 75% superwash kid mohair, 24% silk. And then we have this gorgeous skein of Merino Cloud 1004 highlights. You can see there's purples, greens. We do have this yarn coming. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited for this color because it's like three shades of black instead of seven shades of black. It's just really, really I'd like a sweater out of it, maybe in the mm -hmm. new Silky Twist. Oh. It would be pretty. Ooh. All right. So one lucky winner is going to get that. And um, how do they enter for next time's prize? Okay, so for the next grand prize, uh, which we will announce what it is tomorrow, every time you place an order from the 16th through the 30th of November, you're going to get one entry. It is cumulative, so if you purchase five times, you get five entries. If you purchase 10 times, you get 10 entries. It includes all purchases made here in person in the boutique, online at natikyarns.com, and even over the phone with us. So this is based off of all the purchases from the 1st of November through the 15th. And we're gonna see who's gonna be the lucky winner. Oh, Nancy Powell. Congratulations. Congratulations. See, there's more, more reason for you to come back next week. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's exciting. So, Nancy Powell is the winner of today's grand prize. She was in here yesterday because she yeah. is a recent uh, machine knitter. And she is in the category of local-ish, so most likely to stop by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. to pick up the prize. Uh, if you have won recently and are not local, the way you collect your prize is when you place an order, you just put in the notes that you have a prize and we pack it all up together in your pretty pink package and send it out with the mailman or the UPS man, depending on how fluffy your package is. Yeah, she did. Yesterday we were working on Little Lulu with... Um, no yarn overs, and she did the back yesterday. Uh, she has to go home, do the ribbing, and the next time we will do the print. And the next time after that, we'll do some little sleeves. All right, let me put this away. You know, there's, there's another, um, recently finished yarn over list little Lulu in the cabinet right now. Really? Where is it? Right hand side of like right hand cabinet Sanchez. Ooh. She hasn't even seen it yet so. Is it this one? Yeah. Ooh, you guys want to see? Oh my gosh I'm so excited for Carolyn. Do you guys want to see this? Little Lulu to me is the best project um, for just testing out your yarn. The shape of it is looks great on everybody. Lisa Bowman, if you didn't watch the video yesterday, thank you for my boss lady. I love it. Okay. Here is her little Lulu. And this, this is, is out of for her. Dream and Color Cosette. 
she wanted it a comfy fit that you could wear over another shirt mm -hmm. so and the pattern is written with loose sleeves like this we didn't do any tapering on this one you easily could if you like a more fitted sleeve yep you just do decreases along the edge so cute though but this gives you an idea i'll show you what the yarn looks like i want to get pictures of her so we can post it okay this is gorgeous the coloring so if you guys want to see what does the color look like this is smushy or not smushy this is cosette from dream and color in one of the pop-up club colorways september which as you can see was a pretty tonal speckle um melanie she knit it we blocked it and seamed it mm -hmm. she knit it we seamed it and blocked it she is a newer knitter big crocheter so very exciting. Well, Carol, she'll be here today. I know. I'm Maybe she'll get to try it on. Yeah. Now on mine, and I think Anna's too, we did do some decreasing on the sleeves just because that's what we like. Yeah, we both like a more fitted sleeve versus the loose flowy sleeve. But the loose flowy sleeve does make it nice if you want to wear it over like a long sleeved tee for warmth. Mm -hmm. It's easier to layer. Yep. Everyone should use a little Lulu. Make a little Lulu. Because you don't, you can just use the map and then put in things that you want. I think my next one, I actually want to make a little Lulu out of the yarn we had, we featured yesterday. That was, that's kind yes. of on the radar because it would be really fast to do it. Your friend is in from Sweden. Nice. What does that mean? Like she's visiting? She's visiting? That's what I get out of that. Oh, is on from Sweden. Oh, it was it was an autocorrect. Like, Hello. We thought they were visiting, which I was know. really exciting. Really nice. <laughs> so exciting. Congratulations. Uh Melanie and I were chatting last night about Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> the tracky trashiest TV that you can't stop watching. All right, we've got a really fun daily prize. This is the Michelin Man. And it is a very, ooh, our ink must be going out. Yeah, it, it notified me this morning. What we did with this one, which I think is super fun, it's a series of rows of knitting and a series of pearls, right? Knit mm -hmm. rows, pearl rows, and you can change colors you could do this one knit, this one pearl, this one knit, this one pearl, and it kind of shrinks up so that if you did, let's just say you did it like this. It ends up a really cool, like this, reversible one fabric. One side's gonna show this, one side's gonna show this. And we have, um, I think this is brand new. I don't believe we have it in yet. This is a mallow by Juniper Moon. It is wool, alpaca, and elastic. So this is coming soon to Natique. It is a single ply, very, very soft, bulky yarn, 12 to 15 stitches, uh, but really nice to work with. And yes, Melanie, we're, we're hooked. We're hooked to the train wreck. All right, um, so the pattern super easy. This is great to do it. You can do it in one color. You could do it in two colors. Cloud would be beautiful out of it. That would be... Um, oh yeah, because cloud would stripe, so you wouldn't even have to exactly. do anything. It would just be magical. I'm going to write myself enough. Okie dokie. But in these little mini skeins do have plenty for you to be able to make like the small or medium size on the cowl. Size 11 needles, so it's super fast and it's totally therapy knitting for our um, busy season. I mean, this is a, a cowl at night, easy. It's not, um, especially if you're doing the medium size, you only need 126 yards cast on 76 stitches it's fantastic 
and I like the drape of it, which is really fun. So let's see who is going to be, oh wait, Darla says her Guilty Pleasure TV used to be Real Housewives of Orange County in Beverly Hills. Darla, I will say I have done, I have watched those also. I feel like, um, not that I don't watch intellectual TV, but I like that, that TV that I don't have to pay attention to. It's almost my therapy. Like I can knit and watch and cook and you don't even have to watch it. You can just listen to the craziness and you think, man, my life is good. I'm so normal. Exactly. <laughs> I'm grateful that is not my day-to-day -day life. All right, so let's see who is going to be the winner of um, this. How you get entered into the daily prize is every time you react to the video down here, you're going to get one entry for every reaction. If you comment, five entries for every reaction, for every comment, sorry. And then if you share, which is the easiest way to get super duper points, you're going to just click share to my friends, share to my stories, and it's easy. And I just want to say thanks to everyone who shares because when I'm on Facebook, I see our videos and <laughs> I really appreciate that. It's funny. Some days I scroll through and see us like five times. I'm like, oh my goodness, we're popular today. I feel like it didn't say. Um, scroll back up a little bit. No, it did not, which means you're going to have to hit refresh because when it doesn't save, it really doesn't save. Okay. Uh-oh. It's slow. I end up going and doing these ones while I wait for that one to load. I hope it's still there so I can just... It might be because it should have been the last thing I copied. Sorry, everyone. Sometimes the technology is not our friend. But at least the video is working today. Uh, let's see. Yesterday was 16. this one. This one? This yarn is so soft. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Melanie said, it's okay, we'll stare at yarn, no problem. I'll just keep the camera on the art yarns. Wow, we had a lot of comments that day. Look at this. They really liked the cashmina. No, seriously, that's crazy. I love it. All right, here we are. Who's going to be the lucky winner? Oh, Natique Yarns is there. That's weird. Nancy Ingerson. Congratulations, Congratulations, Nancy. This is a good project for Nancy. Fun, fast, and you get to change colors. Something tells me it's the kind of colors that her granddaughter might steal it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Nancy, since you are, it's a Nancy day. It it's is. been all Nancy's. Um, since you are not local, you're probably not going to stop by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So just the next time you place an order at natiqueyarns.com, all you have to do is put in the notes that you have a prize and we'll send it all on out together and this is that beautifulness from yesterday if you guys missed it it is the softest lightweight yarn that you can use by itself or you can use it in place of a mohair to hold the double to give your sweaters that fabulous fuzzy look that's what little lulu that's what i want mm -hmm. to do I got to swatch it though. I wish I had a sample. Maybe I'll reach out to Jilla. Could we get a sample of that? You yeah, like pretty please? Yeah, I hate to. Break pretty into please that. with cashmere on top? <laughs> Gotta make it yarnified. All right. So the featured, um, there's a couple things we're gonna be. Hey! Nancy Powell, you won the grand prize. I love that. Darla, we're excited to see you on Saturday. That's exciting. All right, we are talking about, uh, what it says, turkey day number three? Yes. Okay, turkey day number three. I'm going to take it off so you guys can see this, and we're going to talk about the yarn. 
this actually, man, it gets big. This is a swaged cowl. We cast on longwise and it is crazy soft. This is worsted weight knit on a size 10 needle. It has knits and pearls and yarn over two together. You can see the texture that you're getting, but really crazy, crazy soft. And it's using this yarn that we uh, just did a reorder on. I've had people make sweaters out of it, but so very nice. I'm glad I got to knit with it because you don't realize in the skein how soft it is. No, but washed. Oh my gosh. I mean, it is nice, but it's even softer washed. So let's show you guys. This is a one skein project. There were leftovers. You could easily make it wider. Um, you could probably do two small ones. I mean, it's really nice and really soft. I'm really enjoying this one. We just opted on that one for our traditional necklace length, six inches wide because that's what we wear the most. All right, so this, like I said, one skein project for size one, size two. Uh, it is really soft. The pattern is, I think this would be good in a sweater, like taking the little Lulu pattern and mm -hmm. doing this would be really nice. Um, you'd have to change the numbers. But this is uh, Pluma by uh, Katya. It is 85% cotton, 15% polyamide. So it's an all weather cowl because it's mostly cotton. It doesn't feel like cotton. It doesn't have that squeak of cotton. It actually feels like um, there's alpaca in it. Um, Danielle is wearing the middle size. Yes, we always uh, swatch the middle because it fits my girls. If it's too high, all you see is them. If it's too low, it ends up, I know you guys, all you other big, big boobed girls like me, it goes like this. Like it hugs around one of them. So I'm like, no, this is a great size. It just sits perfectly. So there is quite a bit of yardage in one skein, 164 yards in 50 grams, which means it's very, very lightweight. It is machine wash, lay flat to dry. Um, if you are going to do, I love, I want to show you guys. Maybe you guys didn't know this. If you wanted to do a short sleeve t-shirt in a size 42, you need five balls. Isn't that fantastic? That's kind of cool. I love that they do that. Stacy Ting, yes, it looks like a boob sling. It's so nice. That's what I was over here trying to hold my giggles about. Yeah. So machine wash, warm, lay flat to dry because there's an X through that. 17 stitches um, and 25 rows would be four by four. But honestly, you're going to swatch it yourself and see what works for you. Uh, Michelin would be gorgeous out of this too, that pattern Michelin. Yeah. Michelin would you be perfect. Get two different colors, which we've done that before. So we'll show you guys the colors again. This is Turkey Day number three. We do have spaces available in store and on Zoom. If you aren't able to make the class live, not to worry. We will send out an email with the taped class for you to watch at your leisure. All the Turkey Day classes are fast, easy to memorize, because our goal is for you to um, make things for Christmas, check things off your list. And don't, I don't make it for someone in mind. I make things and then I assign them to someone. Like this looks like so-and-so, this looks like so-and-so. So then I get the joy of knitting what I want and then I can um, move it along. So there are quite a few delicious colors. I'm gonna let Anna talk about the first one. So this first one is color number 70, which is a soft, creamy white. This is like the natural color of the fibers. And you can kind of see just a little bit of variation, some more bright, some more toned down cream. And that is just the nature of cotton and polyamide do not look exactly the same when they're left to their own devices. You want to make a Santa hat? How gorgeous would that oh, be? Oh, that's fun. This is the border. 
and that's the hat if you're looking for a bright red this is Lorna's laces if you're more of a Victorian uh, color Christmas look at that beautiful variegated would be super cute boot toppers is a good idea I mean it's crazy soft um, a scarf knit 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 and these are the colors ruby and scarlet in the LL yarn worsted Susan this color 70 pluma found an easy peasy bandana that you can do you can make it wider or smaller but so nice I like how you can tie it and keep it in place this is a free pattern uses 252 to 262 basically you're gonna increase out till you've you've ha used half and then decrease you could easily get two balls and make it more of a shawl then because you mm -hmm. could just if you start decreasing before you're totally out of the first ball you're golden yeah always start decreasing before because your gauge might be slightly different on the other half and then you have regrets yes indeed all right so that is the natural cream color number 70. color number 73 this is more of like a taupe kind of a sand color which is a little bit warm just like like if you were building an ombre this is just a shade darker than the cream but still nice and neutral Ooh, oh yeah there's more this we do have sweater quantity of this yarn for people who have been asking and Susan has really linked if you have a baby coming this let me find it here we go how this cute this is the sweet pea baby sweater nothing's hard about it this is a uh, pluma right here you can see it's just um, a regular knit sweater nothing's fancy about it but that's what I like about it well, with such soft, fluffy yarn, you really don't need fancy. I'm like, are they casting on? See, now I want to see. Well, and I'm like, how'd they do the buttonhole? Because, you know, we have those cute little rhinestone buttons over there that are mm -hmm. flowers. That if those are big enough would be amazing. Yeah, really, actually easy. Easy directions, too. It's sized 6 to 12 months. Here's a really fun jacket. This is the Miles shirt jacket. This would be really pretty out of it. Um, I think Sandy T asked, how does it knit up? It is very soft. Um, there is a little bit of stretch because it's cotton, so not a problem. I think kind of what stabilizes it is the fur on it that kind of holds it in place a little bit more. Yeah, I'm sure the little bit, uh, the 15% polyamide probably helps mm -hmm. as well. I love, okay, this is like wearing oh, your boyfriend's cute. flannel shirt. I love this detail right here. Yeah, I like the little um, arch split him. Mm -hmm. This is a um, top down, drop shoulder, back shaping, fold over collar, curved hem, short rows, and pockets. Super cute oversized woolen shirt jacket. I love it. And sized from a 43 all the way up to a 71. It's designed for 11 to 12 inches of positive ease. I could see that because you're going to wear something underneath it. All right. Next color is 076. Which this is a really pretty soft olive green. This actually reminds me of the, the leaves on an olive tree when they start to lighten up. Mm -hmm. So it's olive tree leaf green. Um, Kate, Turkey Day patterns will be on Ravelry, I would say Thursday or Friday. We just did all the photography yesterday. There will be a bonus pattern for those who purchase the collection and it will show up in your library once I am done with the sample. Uh, Sandy, it depends what you're knitting, right? So 
you don't want to knit I, I mean it depends what you're knitting if you want to go down a size smaller I I really like it it everything is dependent on what pattern are you choosing this one has yarn over so it's gonna stretch it'll have a little bit more stretching but this is a 30 inch cowl and that's what we designed it for so I think it's not gonna stretch too much because of the polyamide I think really the only time you'd really have a concern is if it was like a fitted top mm -hmm. that you're going to stretch out by putting it on. Yeah. Oh, somebody's here. All right, I will show you guys the next color. Uh, we have this really pretty blush pink. This is color 72. It's kind of a rosy blush pink almost a little bit salmon and again this is 164 yards of ball so plenty for a lot of Wednesday wonder projects the turkey day three class both the necklace and gator lengths are one skein okay look at this is the home cardigan. Melanie, I can see you wearing this. Super comfortable. I love this. With the wider ribbing, the big buttons, comfortable sleeves. Actually, Loren just showed me a sweater that she wanted like this. That she saw at a thrift store. She's like, it was only $25, but I feel like you could make it. I said, not for $25. Yes, for $200. <laughs> you turkey. I still don't like it. Like, the kids went to the snow. No one had hand-knit hats in that group. I'm like, you guys are all in. Oh, Loren did. The hand-knit hat from last week. Uh-huh. <laughs> hand-knit. I, I need to <laughs> knit a hat for Shane, Kelsey, and the baby. I so still got to do the one for the baby. <laughs> I mean. In my are, spare time. Our baby's almost I know. At what point do we have to stop calling her the baby? She's still a baby. I love at her age that she's like, some, when she wants to, she says she's a baby. And then when she doesn't want to, she's a big girl. Oh, one of my friend's grandsons did that. He he wanted to be a big kid until he wanted something that they're like, no, no, that's for babies. And then he's like, well, I'm still a baby. Yeah. I really, I, I really like this. I think this is super cute. And out of Pluma, oh my gosh, it'd be so nice. And so cute. Worked flat, positive ease. Oh, they said we can call her the baby till another baby arrives. Woohoo, we can call her a baby forever. Oh, it's going to be a long time. Long time before another baby arrives. But that's all right. Okay, this is probably my favorite color in the line. Not for me, but for somebody else. I think it's so pretty. This is this gorgeous soft pink 072 oh wait you already did it you don't have to whisper it you can just okay. say it because they can hear you all right i love this one this is color 78 which is a really pretty like berry burgundy color you can really see the tonality of the two shades of fiber in this one. It picks up really well that the cotton's a little brighter, the polyamide's a little darker. Here is a little slip over. If you're, um, you get, you know, you want a little bit of warmth, that's a nice thing, is cotton. Or say that you like this as a t-shirt, you guys. You just don't do all this ribbing at the top. You could just make this into a fun little cotton uh, slipover. Again, cute. Wear a little cami underneath it. Well, and with this yarn, with how fuzzy it is, you could just do like a little kind of like garter stitch border for the mm -hmm. neckline because it's not going to show. Just enough to keep it from being roly-poly. Yeah. Another very simple sweater. This is Homebody. Very flattering. I like a little the oversized I don't even really mind this oh that's their bind off oh this is a good example you actually like this yeah it's not usually that pronounced on mine I like um, to do um 
She bound off in knit stitches. I like to bind off in knits and pearls so you don't get this line, but it's, it's attractive on this one. I like the evenness of the edge it gives me, but I will change it if it's something that's I prone to that flipping is. up like that. Very easy knitting. Here's someone, stripes. I mean, I'm, I'm drawn to this one. I mean, then we it is have pink. Rough Ridge. Now, I really think this one, you could just use the numbers, but don't do any of the patterning. Just do knits and pearls. Because it's a really nice silhouette of a vest, but mm -hmm. in this fluffy yarn, you won't see that texture. Yeah. You don't need all of that. But it's but it would still work. You would need to do a little bit of garter ridges at the bottom or ribbing. Here's, I'm gonna show you guys. This is what I like about this, how it comes in and then it sits on your shoulder and it doesn't come off your shoulder. It's sized from a 32 all the way up to a 66. So no matter what your size is, uh, it'll work for you. I do like vests. Diane, Diane Benny Haas, she's a big vest person too. I could see that one out of Saxony. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's what I'm working on right now. Precious Little Yarn, this is a really fun, fast little cowboy cowl. Nothing's crazy about this. This is just an easy, oh my gosh, look at that kitty. It's a good one skein wonder and I think it has you do like knit one belows or something to yeah, or um, create that little bit of texture. It's interesting. It's almost like one by one rib. Very pretty though. It's like you can see it in this. Yeah. One. But maybe she chose to do that. Let's see. Oh, it's. All right, here's another one. This is Cold Shield. This, see, look at, this is why people wear it that way. Even a man's got it on. That's perfect for if you live somewhere super chilly or you go skiing. Mm -hmm. Or All you're right. gonna go have a sled day. This next color is one of my favorites. It's a beautiful camel, color 77. It has a little bit of like that coppery tone to it. Almost butterscotch. That is number 77. Very pretty warm color. Uh, let's see what else did. Here's another one that Susan found. This is Candle Wick. And you could do that little detail in that you would see it. You would see it enough just to make it not be as rolly. And that's kind of just enough to make the pattern a little more interesting if you get bored easy too. Because if you look at mine, you can see where the knits and the pearls are. Yeah, you can see ridges. This is Candle Wick Cowl. And we have another ooh this is cute big love what a great jacket that looks like another good wear all the time jacket mm -hmm. this should be on your list because you wear that other one all the time yeah and i need to make another something like that because i'm always sad when i have to wash it because then i can't wear it for a couple days yeah look at how pretty that is very similar um, the other one's a cocoon. You could make it longer. Hers is a little short. Here's someone who's like, nope, I need it to cover my muffin. Well, and you need it to cover that gap between your shirt and your pants because that breeze in the morning is like, nope. I don't need that cold air getting to my skin. I really like this one. This is oh, the that's cute. Easy Eyelet Yoke. I think we showed this the other day. I think it's beautiful. I know Karen's knit this one. The yarn is definitely the star, but it just, these are the increases that you're doing. So there's nothing crazy on this. That'd be wonderful in this yarn, because as mm -hmm. you can see, it does yarn overs nicely. It does do yarn overs nicely. 
and let's see. This one, the largest size is 1,048. So let's see. That's not bad at all. I'm trying to see. One, seven. I feel like based on yardage per ball, it'd be about like one less than. Mm -hmm. So like four to nine instead of five to ten. Yeah. Really cute. All right. Some fun colors. This one, gorgeous. Color number 81. This is like a cornflower blue. So it has that softer kind of denim blue level color, but with just the slightest hint of lavender to it. Like this is one of those, if you were to put it next to a purple, the lavender would disappear because the purple would dominate that. But if you put it next to other colors, you can see that little bit of lavender come out. We also, in the last week or so, we've had people make blankets, started striped blankets out of this one. This would be fun for that um, frosting blanket of ours mm -hmm. that we did in a fuzzy yarn. Especially if you have a baby coming that is... Um, more in a warmer area where it's going to be a summer baby because mm -hmm. they still need a blanket this is color 80 which is a really rich navy blue it's a little more rich in person the camera almost picks up too much light it's more accurate back here last but not least honestly now i'm like i want to make a sweater out of it right I wish I could knit a sweater a day. Right? Honestly, I mean, there's with, so many really good sweaters. If it weren't for needing to seam it, we could with the machine. <laughs> this is one of my favorites, this home cardigan. I really like this. Last but not least is color 79, which is the beautiful pewter gray that you see in the cowl modeled by Boss Lady with her best Vanna impression. Oh my gosh, all <laughs> that photography yesterday. Oh my gosh. Uh, I love the pictures when you're like, okay, are you done? You just, everybody thinks <laughs> I love all the pictures. I hate it, but I'm just trying to embrace it. That's what, like, modeling my sweater yesterday and going back and looking at the pictures, I'm like, oh, I've got a spot on my lip from my lips getting dry for the winter. I'm like, oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Nobody's going to look at my lips. They're looking exactly. at the sweater. <laughs> That's all right. It is all right. So now that we've been talking about sweater season, because you guys know we are in the midst of sweater season, it's nice because it just started getting cold. So we've probably got about five months that we'll have sweater season that we could actually wear something. I mean, I'm wearing cashmere today. I mean, I do wear sweaters, um, but I really, I'm into cardigans right now. So that, that one is really talking to me. So we're gonna talk about a few things that will help you with keeping your sweaters look good as new. The very first thing I'm gonna let Anna talk about soak. So soak is of course what you use to wash your knits and it is what makes it really amazing, especially for sweaters. I don't know about you guys, but have you ever tried to rinse a sweater? Oh, by normal. hand it's like this is not this is not happening i'm never getting all the soap out but soak is a no rinse wool wash so you don't have to worry about rinsing any suds out and you don't even need very much because it is a very concentrated detergent uh, it comes in three different flavors there's unscented there's yuzu which is kind of a citrusy scent and then there is Celebration, which is more floral. The other nice thing with this is that the fragrance really fades when the garment is dry. So if you like the smell of floral, but you're making it for somebody who is like, you, I don't want to smell like flowers. It's fine because they won't smell like flowers, but you won't have to smell wet sheep because it'll be flowers instead. And it comes in two different size bottles. This is the 12 ounce bottle, which is about 75 washes. Or there is in each of the flavors, there is the three ounce bottle, which is approximately 18 washes. 
this smaller bottle is good for gifting to someone who you knit a sweater for so that they have the right stuff to care for their sweater. Mm -hmm. um, and then here's the thing that not everyone does, but I always include a soap mini. There's even a spot I pin it on to whoever I'm giving it to, to let them know how to take care of it. So this also, soak, I don't just use it on my knits, I use it on any of my fine hand washables, my lingerie, my bras, anything like that, that I need a little bit of delicate care. I just think it cleans really well. Um, and I do actually like the scent, but it does fade. If you're more sensitive, we do have the scentless, which is crazy. It's probably the least popular. Number one, celebration. It's a little bit florally. Yuzu has an orange citrus smell. It's delicious. Yeah, Yuzu is my number one. I like the citrusy. Yeah. I like <laughs> This is what I just printed up because I think this is gorgeous. I need a little, maybe a new cardigan out of one of these. I probably would do this one. I don't know. I mean, We'll see. I like it though. Okay, next. This is something that lots of people don't want to take the time to do, but for your sweater to look beautiful, you need to shave it. Oh, it's worth the time. It will take it from looking like the dogs dragged it through the backyard <laughs> to beautiful. And these are the gleaners. There's three different edges. Edge number one is for big and bulky fabrics like heavy woolens, synthetics, and blends. Edge number two is best for medium fabrics such as cashmere, merino, and finer wools. And edge number three, revitalize your delicate summer knits t-shirts and silk blends. So if you have t-shirts that, I mean, I'm sure mine has it right now. From the abrasion, you get the pills. You see all the little things. Get rid of them right now. Where's our sample one? This one. Okay, let's show them. Which pro tip for those of you who have pets, this one works really well for getting all the hair off the furniture. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna say this is a number two because it is cashmere. And it's a finer fabric, it so is. that sounds about right. Okay. But so. see all the fuzzies right here, you guys? We're Oops, about, to, about to magically make those disappear. You click it in. Here we go. And then you just hold it. Let me here, see. I'll hold this side. Oh. Yes, Kate, cat hair remover. Look at this. Look how smooth. And then you just pick it off. Those are all the balls that were in that one spot. You can't, this is what I like about the sweater. You can't actually see it too easily. Here's more right here. Oh, look, I need to wash this one. It has a little schmutz. Okay, right here, you can see the balls. Yep. Gone. So it, I do this maybe once a month or I'll do it after I wash it to make sure. I don't wash my sweaters all that much. Um, as you can see, yeah. I really got something on it. Looks like a tomato. I like to take this side to the little lint brush side and after I shave it, I just give it one quick swipe and it pulls off the last little bit of loose fuzzies so that they don't just ball up again. Yep. So this is uh, the one that you keep at your house. The one that I travel with, and it's a perfect gift for those who are traveling. I keep this one in my car, like it's in the little center console. I'm going to have to open the bottom. Because I regularly forget that a sweater hasn't been shaved recently and get to work and I'm like, oh, well, I'm a fuzzball. So if you keep it in your car, then you don't have to worry about getting somewhere and going, great, I look like I rolled around with the cat. That is it. It comes with a cute little pouch right here to travel with. And then, let's 
say, I think it's this side. It's the little, this little arrow right here, you push in and then it'll clamshell open. So again, here's your three different blades. You just pop out the one that you want to use, put in the, take out the one you don't want to use, put in the one you want to use, and look, here's on the back. Yep, so you get all of the same ability of the big one, but portable. All right, and then we've got a couple other things that we recommend to get your sweaters uh, back into ship, ship, ship shape. shape. I was going to say ship shop shape. Okay, you guys know blockers. When you wash your sweater, you're going to lay down a towel and then you're going to rest it on the blockers. This is a set. You can pin into it if you want. I don't actually do a lot of pinning. Um, I'll pin the hem because that's where I think is yeah. important. Sweaters don't typically need a lot of pinning because if you have gauge, they should be the right size. Mm -hmm. And then we have the knit blockers which I don't know where our open one is. I don't either. But it basically are combs that do it. But what I like about the blocking mats is you can arrange them. If you have a scarf, you're just gonna connect them like this, a long one, right? You can make it as long as you want. If you've got a uh, longer cowl, you can put four together so you can rearrange them any way you want. This comes in really handy for the like asymmetric boomerang shawls that curve because you can make like kind of a weird C shape out of them and still be able to block your shawl. And I actually keep these in my laundry room. I have, I know a lot of you guys have the front loaders. Mine have the pedestal stands, which are frankly useless. Yeah. Besides their, your washers aren't, you don't have to squat down. So on one side, I have my blocking mats with my knit blockers. So there's that. And last but not least, if you guys are doing any type of washing, which what woman isn't, these are the dryer balls, 10 out of 10. I put six to eight in every load. And here's what it does. It dries it much, dries your clothes much faster, makes them not um, static. So these are wool balls. You just keep them in your dryer. I don't take mine out. You do find them when you're doing sheets. And pant legs. Pant, pant legs, legs like to, to eat them. Sleeves. And then you just leave them in there. They last, I don't know, I probably have five years I have them. Mm -hmm. The same ones. I have a whole bucket of them. Because I think is so cute. Um, and I like that it makes my knitting dry faster. I use these all the time. I haven't bought dryer sheets in oh, 10 no. years. I don't do that anymore. But you don't need them. Own, but this makes it faster, faster dry, especially in the winter time. And for stuff like my sheets and towels that I want to smell good, I put a little bit of the volcano diffuser oil on so them. I. And then my laundry smells great. And by the next load, it's faded. So, you know, I don't walk necessarily end up walking around smelling like volcano if I don't want to. I just put a drop on it mm -hmm. on the dryer ball. One drop's all you need. Yeah. This is a game changer. I think I discovered them maybe three years ago, but I absolutely love them. There, it's like once I went with dryer balls, like, yeah, I'm never going back because you save a ton of money too by one, not having to buy dryer sheets all the time. Yep. Two, your dryer doesn't have to run as long before your stuff is dry. It's just fantastic. And if you're like me and have animals, the cutting down on static also cuts down on how much fur is attached to your clothes. Cindy, that is, she says she just has to fight the puppy every time one bounces out. My oh, dog's yeah. Like, doot, doot. Oh, you got a toy for me? Well, thank you, Kate. So we're going to talk about what we're wearing. Again, I'm wearing our turkey day number three option it is called a swaged cowl we do have it in three different sizes you can see there's knits there's pearls there's yarn overs knit two together just a gorgeous look to it 
fast fun. The class is available at no charge. That is our Thanksgiving gift to you, um, our favorite peeps. For the holidays, we do three free classes. Um, and then we are also um, putting a bonus pattern in the bundle available on Ravelry. It's a gorgeous mosaic knit cowl, like 10 out of 10 beautiful. And I will, if you're not signed up for our newsletter, go to knitikyarns.com and get signed up because I will send out an email when the Turkey Day classes or sample patterns, whatever they're called, whenever the patterns the are available on Ravelry. Mm -hmm. So you will know exactly when you can grab those. Yep. All right. I'm going to show you guys what Anna's wearing. It's so cute on. And then Susan will make her way to the front. I'm so happy for sweater weather because I can wear a majority of my knits again since I'm mostly sweater knitter lady. This is Mellow Kitty by Casapinka. It is a top down round yoke sweater with the Fair Isle Kitty Cat pattern. All in I have this one. Yarn. Yeah, yours is a pretty cranberry color for the mm -hmm. majority of it. And then it's got this little one by one cable stitch pattern on the body. You could leave that off if you wanted to keep it super simple. And then ribbing at the bottom. Isn't it super cute? She has a dog one too. Yep, raise the wolf. Do you have that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's blue. Nice. All right. And Shujin. Shujin is cold in the back room again. So oh yeah, it's freezing um, back there. I always forget as soon as I walk out here. Easy collar poncho from Iris. Mm -hmm. Are you honest? Yeah. That used how many? Three. 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 Three balls of merino cloud. I think there's different options that you can do because you could wear it sideways mm -hmm. too, yeah. but she's cold and needs her arms free. So she does it that way. But say that you're in an office. You could even or pin the. Pin I actually want to turn it the other way and sew up the sides. Oh, that's a good idea. That would be or just do buttons. I could wear. That you could wear? Yeah. Or knit. Or knit. <laughs> yeah. I could knit. Wouldn't it be cute if it was. Seamed? Attached? No, I agree. I think a lot of these look better when they're seamed. Yeah. You could do that. Could. Anna will seam it for you. Ooh. <laughs> Fall and told. Right. Yes. There you go. All right, my friends. Uh, I just want to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch us. You guys know you guys mean everything to us. Um, I will be back at three o'clock, three o'clock with knit, sip, and hook with Boss Lady. If you haven't joined us, super casual, super fun. You pop on to Zoom. The link is the first post on our Facebook page, and then we sit around and we knit and crochet together. For an hour and it's just a really nice part of our day we do it tuesday and wednesday every week um and that is gonna be it that so is that everything that you've seen is available on our website plus so much more we've got amazing gifts and we're really excited about everyone uh what's gonna happen next week so thank you everyone for watching us we will see you soon have an amazing day Bye bye